All right, YouTube, welcome back. Sierra's gonna hop on the camera. The lovely Sierra, smile. Show them how beautiful you are. Tell them what you did last night. She What's vandalized. She vandalized cars and stole money out of mailboxes. Yeah. Nice shit. How about that. Tell them where you went. I went to Future and Metro. Moving off the chain. The people blazing blunts everywhere. Yeah. Did you get hot that night? No, thankfully. So this is a 2022 Hyundai Elantra. The customer has a strange click. You don't hear it going forward. Um, so Jude and I just went for a road test and I was like, wow, this is kind of weird. And then I noticed that there's newer brakes. And you could tell it definitely wasn't done here. Why, Sierra? Oh, yeah, because I don't ever put this And in. I don't ever put this crap back on anyway, yeah. but that's not the, that's the problem. The problem here is this. Wheel bearing grease. Somebody was trying to resolve a noise coming from the brakes and thought that they were going to make it better putting grease on all this stuff. And that just enables this brake stuff to move more. So what was happening, I don't know if I can show you this, get closer. So what's happening with the aftermarket pad, it's clicking in the bridge. It's not necessarily a hardware problem, it's a problem with the fitment of the pads. So you could redo the brake job, or take all this stuff out, get all the wheel bearing grease. You don't put wheel bearing grease on there, right? Why would you do that? That's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Right? You don't do that here? You don't put brake, wheel bearing grease on all these surfaces. That's not Unless great. I really like hate somebody. <laughs> Unless you really hate somebody? Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean off all this slippery, slidey stuff. If the OEM doesn't do it, you don't have to do it. You, do you agree with that? If OEM didn't do it, then you don't have to do it. So what we're going to do in the interim is we're going to break clean all the lubricant off of the caliper and then we're going to take black RTV and we're going to put it on both sides. We're going to set the caliper down and within 10 minutes it's going to start to get sticky and hold those pads in place so they don't click anymore. So, and we don't use perfect stop brake pads here. So somebody definitely was in over their head. I'm, like I'm shocked that they got the brake pads in because they have these weird little tabs that lock pads in you see that yeah so when you come across these cars what I do is I just bend that tab down get the pads in and out and then bend it back up so we don't really need any parts technically to fix this we just need some skill and ability and some experience and we'll get it handled thanks for watching